Good afternoon, I'm Carmen Well with your BCIT News Update. A Maple Ridge teen accused of taking pictures of the gang rape of a 16-year-old girl has been charged today. The boy, who could not be named, has been accused of producing and distributing child pornography. RCMP Sergeant Peter Thiessen said the boy will not be charged with the physical attack of the victim. Investigators say that the girl was assaulted by several men in Pitt Meadows. No sex charges have been laid, but an 18-year-old has been arrested in connection with the incident. In addition, RCMP are still without much information regarding the assault of the 16-year-old. The police believe the teenage code of silence is preventing witnesses from coming forward. RCMP are still asking anyone who may have seen or knows anything about the incident to call their local police. The Ministry of the Environment has filed charges against Acana today following the toxic gas leak near Dawson Creek last fall. The Alberta-based company is accused of releasing toxic waste into the environment and not reporting the spill. The Oil and Gas Commission report found Acana was unprepared for the emergency when hydrogen sulfide gas spewed from its pipeline for eight hours last November 22nd. So far, the company has not made an official comment, but states that steps have been taken to ensure that this will not happen again. A Terrace Area BC woman has been arrested for possession of child pornography. RCMP issued a search warrant on the Glenvowell BC home September 22nd. They confiscated computer equipment and other items. The seized evidence revealed the accused owned and was distributing child pornography. There is no indication the pornography was produced locally. And in other news, an inspiring medical story out of Manitoba today. 31-year-old Janice Olson from Balmoral, Manitoba was literally cut in half during a radical cancer treatment in Minnesota. The Mayo Clinic did the procedure that required her being cut in half to get at the untreatable cancer. They removed her leg, lower spine and half her pelvis and then put her back together again. Olson is now happy and healthy and able to walk again with crutches and prosthetics. What a remarkable story. That was your BC News Update. I'm Carmen Weld, bringing you the news that matters to you.